Okay. Welcome everyone. My name is Stuart. Today we are going to be looking at ATER, Aterian. Uh, slightly different perspective. So typically people jump into the company, the background, history, things like that. I'm going to look at it from a different angle. We are going to dive into the sentiment and trend um, that we like to follow for, for stocks. Uh, this will be done in two parts. First, I'll just do a quick walkthrough of this analysis that uh, one of our analysts put together. Uh, and then from there, we'll jump into the actual social sentiment dashboard. That's essentially the tool that we use uh, to track trending tickers. Um, so we'll, we'll dive into those parts and, and see where it takes us. Uh, if you can, please like, subscribe. Uh, that'd mean a ton to me. Uh, it's always helpful. I love comments, feedback. Um, if you want to see anything else in these types of videos, uh, please drop a note and let me know. Awesome. Let's get into it. So ATER, uh, a little bit of background. Uh, Essentially, uh, what we looked at is what's trending across stock tweets and Twitter. If you're not familiar with them, obviously major social platforms, especially uh, Twitter. Uh, but what's useful is being able to understand uh, the chatter and social momentum that are occurring on these platforms. Uh, so for instance, we see that stock twits, uh, wondering if is it trending on, on stock twits, uh, with an average daily message volume of almost 2,000 um, messages, that's significant. Uh, if I think about it, the average volume, you know, across stock twits is probably around uh, high hundreds. So uh, seeing this pop up into uh, the 2000 range is, is something to, to keep an eye on and what really kind of caught our, our attention early on. The second interesting thing is impression. So this is how many people see a post uh, or message that's related to ATER. Obviously, the more people that see a post related to ATER, uh, the more interested they become in it um, and more likely they are to kind of participate. Um, and we usually see a, an increase in volume as well as a correlation with the price based on this. So that's the overview of, of stock twits. The second thing we like to look at is what's happening on Twitter. Um, so obviously Twitter, massive social platform, uh, a ton going on there, easy to cash tag specific, uh, specific stocks in this case, cash tag ATER. Um, but what's interesting is following what we call the whale accounts. So who are the big accounts that are tweeting about ATER? And again, this comes down to impressions. Uh, if someone with, you know, 10,000 followers tweets the cash tag ATER, a lot of people are going to see that tweet. The more people that see a tweet, uh, pertaining to ATER, more interest there is more social volume, uh, people get behind it, et cetera. And, and it can kind of take off from there. So what we saw with ATER is that there are about 118 people um, with over 10,000 followers who are tweeting about it, and then 14 accounts with over 100,000 followers. So that kind of shows you the, the amount of attention that ATER is getting. Uh, and you can see in the previous 24 hours, almost 6 million impressions. So if you think about it, that's crazy. It's close to 6 million people who have seen a tweet that's related to ATER. Okay, I will link this in the description below, uh, but let's jump over and look at the actual uh, dashboard itself. Awesome. So this is the social sentiment dashboard, pulls in real-time data from Twitter, stock twits, um, has a bunch of filters and ways to slice and dice the data. Super useful uh, if you own a portfolio of stocks or if you're scanning uh, for new, new stocks to buy into. We're just going to take a look at ATER and I'll show you kind of the, the interesting trend that we saw. So just search below ATER. Let's click into it. Okay, let me look at, I want to see the price for the last 72 hours as well as the impression. So those are kind of the two, two main things that obviously uh, go together nicely. Okay, so looking over the last three days, um, you can kind of see, again, purple is the number of impressions. Uh, kind of steady here. We saw the price kind of drop from just shy of 3.7 down to, let's see, what is this? Yeah, closed out the day at, at 3.6. The following day uh, opened at um, around 3.2. Climbed back up uh, three point, just shy of three point five. Uh, but what's quite interesting is this action in here. So as you see, um, we're looking for trends. The actual number of impressions kind of steady. A few peaks here and there, kind of steady, kind of steady. Um, this is while markets close, so obviously 10 p.m. at night, etc. Not a ton of people are tweeting about it. If 
But then if we're looking at, you know, every hour we're averaging, what is this, 50,000 impressions, then, okay, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., we start to see a bump. With this, um, we also see some continued kind of traction and impressions. And we can see that, you know, price opened at around 3.4 and then started to pump. So it, it jumped up substantially from a low of 3.35 to uh, just over $4 a share uh, by the time it closed. So this is, a, again, if you look at, at the impressions here, pretty steady and then a significant bump. Now let's zoom in and look at the what's been going on the last 12 hours. So similar kind of uh, similar kind of trend. So as I mentioned, the the impression. So this was this morning before market opens. We're starting to get a lot of attention. Uh, people are tweeting, discussing about ATER, and then market opens. Boom, takes off 4.42, hit 4.78. But then, unfortunately, kind of saw the, the number of impressions drop. Correspondingly, saw the, the price kind of slow down a little bit. Uh, I'm sure if we looked at uh, the volume itself, we'd probably see. Um, let's take a look at what's going on from a volume perspective. Yeah, kind of what I figured. So volume was hot first thing in the, in the morning, kind of dies off uh, going into the afternoon. But if we look at price, kind of follows the, the trend. So impressions up in pre-market, see the spike, boom, price goes up, impressions fall, price starts falling down again. We saw the volume was falling a little bit, uh, but then into the afternoon, attention uh, starts to pick up again about ATR, more people see tweets about it, and we start to see the, the price move a little bit. So again, these are really the, the trends that we're looking for. Uh, so super useful if you are an existing uh, trader or investor of ATER or looking for, for other stocks to, to buy into, um, this tool will, will help you scan for it. Uh, and then something that's quite interesting, you know, you have your, the trends here, but what's useful is to see what people are actually saying about ATR, because um, that gives you a sense of the, the actual sentiment uh, in the market. Uh, and we, the way we set it up is you can easily see kind of the top accounts uh, that are tweeting about it. Again, I go back to those whale accounts uh, who are sharing uh, tweets that have the cash tag ATER. Um, and again, if the more people that, that see a tweet about ATER, the more social attention it gets. Um, and then we see, you know, significant kind of price action uh, based off of that. Awesome. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, as I said, please comment, like, subscribe. That'd mean a ton to me. Links will be in the descriptions below and happy trading.